All right, Logan, we have six tiers, S, A, B, C, D, and F. Today, we're going to be doing drippiest Jedi tier list. I've, I've been a little excited for this one ever since we brought it up, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. You picked them all out. I did, and I'm very excited for you to see some of these. Oh, man. The thing is, Jedi have less drip than Sith, for sure. Yeah, it's- That's it's, like almost a guarantee. Yeah, it's tough to, to get like a good variation of yeah. different kind of drip because a lot of it's like different robes and you mm -hmm. know such like that so yeah. but i think i have some pretty good ones on here so okay so first we have kiati mundi now i'm not gonna lie i'm not huge on this you're not I i'm not huge i i like i kind of like the boots yeah i was gonna say the boots ha are some drip for sure i like the boots and the pants are not bad either but this top part, I don't know if I'm feeling it or not. I don't like the flap down boots though. Really? I think I, I kind of like the flap down. I don't hate that. I mean, what I wear. But the those... thing is, if they if they weren't flap down, they'd be up to like his knees. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy. And that's insane. Yeah. So it's better that uh... they are flap down. But I, the only real thing for me is the boots that I like. That's honestly kind of the blue about lightsaber it. fits them. I like. We'll the give them that. Yep. Ah, uh, I. I'd say D. I mean, it's uh, that's not. That's exactly what I was thinking. Because some of the other ones, I think, are a little better. Yeah. That would go and see. So. Yeah, it's nothing special for sure. Yeah, but it's, you know, definitely not the worst thing I've seen. No. That's for sure. All right, getting in the second Jedi here, we have General Rom Coda from mm. Star Wars: The Force Unleashed. I Dude. like him because he's a little bit more unique, right? He's got some armor. Got a little bit of a cape action type thing. I I, I kind of like this look. It's not bad. What do you, where do you want to put it though? I'm probably in the B to C range. You serious? <clears throat> yeah. No, I'd put this A. Really? It's got to go B then. Okay. Unless, unless I can somehow sway you. But like, I like the armor because it is like, it's, I like any armor in Star Wars that can make someone look like a knight. True. True. Because I feel like that's hard. Yeah. And then what is like, what it, this isn't like a cape. Like what is this? Is it a cape? It's like a half cape. Is it like a deal. split like cape? A, I'm, I don't remember exactly from the video game if it's a split cape or not, or if it's a full cape and they just did this for like this, but I know he has some sort of cape. Cause it being split like that is pretty hard. I mean, this image it's split. So we're going off of this image. Yeah. And it's pretty tough. He does have some default boots on. Yeah, that definitely brings it down. Um, it's like a, but the green lightsaber fits. I do like the green lightsaber look for this. But the fact that he just he just looks like a like a thrown together knight, like he's got like the strap mm -hmm. going across. You talked me into it. I, I the hairline like, though. The hairline ain't there. That's for sure. The hairline is but definitely missing. Let's be honest here. He, he at this point he is you know older, right? Yeah. So he's definitely getting up there. I mean, the, I love I love the beard. The beard is tough. Okay. I do enjoy the beard. I think you. I think he got like a ponytail, or not ponytail, like a bun or something. Uh, back. You know, you but might... are you trying to like convince me that because he's old, the hairline gets a pass? I mean, it doesn't get a pass, but it's like you know, you're getting older, so you know, it happens to the best of us. Okay, I'm I'm putting an A. Okay, I will. Are you talk me in the A. Okay. Because I do like the like you said with the thrown together look. Yeah. I actually do see it now, and I actually do like that a lot. Okay. So. I'm I'm down. So A is actually a solid spot for General Rom Coda. Now the third Jedi up here, good old Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> I mean, I had to include him. The pose is a little goofy. Yeah, the, the pose is trolly <laughs> for sure. But this is the best like full image that I could find of our boy, Anakin Skywalker. Of our father. Of our father, Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know where you're putting it. Really? Do I? So normally I would be like, this is S for me, right? And if we're looking at it from that time period, probably S. But some of the other ones I got on here, I think I might like a little bit more. So I might have to, I might be leaning A here. I'm still in between. Yeah, I'm down with A. I'm still in between, but I like I said, for the time period, S. Yeah, because he, he was so unique. Exactly. During that time, the only one that everyone had dark... was tan or brown. He's the only one that had dark robes. So for the time, it was S, but... Some of the other ones on here, I don't know, dude. I, I think I like them a little bit more. He's got an S tier uh, lightsaber hilt as well. 
best lightsaber hill in the game. I don't know about that, but top three. <laughs> <laughs> and the hair, dude. Oh my god, the hair is fire. Yeah, too. yeah. Oh my god. Then the scar. <laughs> the scar is tough, dude. Oh my god, because like, like I feel like you gotta add in that to the drip. I mean, like, it it's not just what he's wearing. It technically is. It's his look. Okay. Mm. Well, I'll go ahead. Okay. Yeah, let's just not think about it. Very high A though. Yeah, it's the fact that we're we're thinking about it that it can't go S. It it's, it's got to just be exactly. Yeah. All right, the fourth Jedi up, Al Katarn. Oh, okay. Why has he got a shoulder pad? I don't know. He just has a shoulder pad, which I thought was a bit weird. Yeah, because it kind of looks like a baseball glove. Yeah, it's like I don't know. It's like weird. <laughs> it's like weird almost. I like the. Sh I will say I like the shirt. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that. The, the boots, not horrible. Boots are default. Yeah, but they fit. He's a, he's a fake default. Fake default, yeah. Yeah, the fade though. The fade's tough with he's the beard. He's faded up. With the yeah. Beard. And yeah. No, even he, the haircut's fire. Yeah, it's it's the the haircut and the facial hair, is giving him is giving him drift. Like it yeah. is, I think that's what add what's adding to his drift the most. Yeah, and. I did see when I was looking through images, some people are comparing. He was like, "This is the Chuck Norris of Star Wars." Oh, and I was like, I, "And I was like, I see it, like I see it." No, okay, I like that. Like once somebody brought it up, I couldn't unsee it. He is definitely is the Chuck Norris of Star Wars. Ah, uh, I'd probably still go B though. I would go B just because I. The thing is, I like Coda, and I think I like Anakin's a little bit better. Yeah, but like this is on upper echelon B teetering to a yeah i feel like if sure. he had maybe some more if he had better boots i think better well boots. maybe not the i don't know about the like the shoulder pad like that you brought up I, i'm not huge yeah i feel like if he had like some gauntlets or something kind of i think that even even if they were like the same sort of look as the baseball glove on his shoulder it would help blend it together yeah. better yeah for sure now time for the fifth jedi mace windu <laughs> mm -hmm. not super huge literally the only thing giving him anything is the lightsaber the lightsaber and then the like the white like under the robes that's about it i don't even know if i want to give him the credit for the pants though i'd go d it is it's a not f trip. you can't put it f because he has the lightsaber his hilt is great too and the purple i mean the purple yeah. lightsaber will always be t that's like my favorite lightsaber color for sure is purple but uh... Like I said, the robes, I, you know, eh. I, Who's in D? Caddy Mundy. Mundy. Uh, he's got to go C then. C then. Yeah. Okay, I like C. I'll give him the credit for the white pants then. We'll put him in C, but. Yeah. I feel like and he, has, but he, has, a, but he has better boots than Caddy Mundy too. Yeah. The the purple lightsaber is just carrying. Oh, dude, bad. it carries. It carries it's carrying tough. so hard. All right. Time for the sixth Jedi. Cal Kestis. Bit of a unique one. Jedi though. Survivor, though? Yes, Jedi Survivor. Okay. Because I, mean, I, I, I like this look better than Fallen Order. Yeah. Now, are we are we we're going st strictly off of this picture, or can we include like the hair and beard combo that people usually go with that gives them like ultimate drip? I mean, I would assume that this would probably be the canon look. Okay. Because this is the whole you know. Okay. Like, yeah. Well, yeah. We'll go off. So of this. I could, we could go off of this one. Uh, I hate his lightsaber hilt. Yeah, I'm not huge on I it. hate it. I'm not huge on the Jaro Tapal uh, lightsaber held at all either. But he's got the blaster. Yeah. That's tough. I honestly don't mind like the boots with like the pants. I What's think that on his together. wrist? On his right wrist? I have no idea. Is that what like that a Ben is. 10 watch? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that is. <laughs> to be honest. Is, is this is, is this how he's feeling <laughs> off the Don Julio? <laughs> I mean, the dude, vest, it is like. The vest is. I like the vest too. The hair. I honestly, I don't mind this look. I really don't. I'd get. I'd give it B. I, I would. I would give it B too. Yeah. I think it's like. It's kind of like Kyle Katarn type. Yeah. Type level. That's kind of what I was aiming at here. Definitely. Because yeah. it's definitely better than Mace. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Time for the seventh Jedi, Luke Skywalker. This one's S. I mean, it's S. It's S plus. <laughs> if we're being honest. This is S for sure. The fact Drip that one hundred one. If you wear all black, you automatically get S. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's that was the problem with Anakin. He has brown pants, and that's why he's the he doesn't have day. all black. That's a good point. That's why that's 
if you had black pants that's s yeah sure. and you know, and plus with the hood up right here with like this is like the mandalorian look. yeah this th that gives dude. aura dude but i really like the look without the without it the still robes. looks good without the ropes yeah. yeah like the big ass like wwe title belt pretty much that's like his that's like his title when he like he got like when he beat the emperor <laughs> <laughs> that's the title he got <laughs> yeah yeah he took uh he took the universal championship <laughs> from my tribal chief <laughs> the undisputed champion <laughs> do you acknowledge your tribal chief i acknowledge he's him. my tribal chief I, was like, I acknowledge luke skywalker yeah uh, i acknowledge that he's an s tier why can you explain this to me why do like the the, the belt because it's a belt mm -hmm. <laughs> why do so many jedi have the belt like around their stomach I, that's a good point like, that's actually a good point i don't know okay i've never understood that not that it takes away from his drip no, I, but it's just actually, something that I'm so confused by. That's actually a good point. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea. Uh, he does have drippy boots though. I they're mean, they're, they're kind of they're low key like the squeaky boots from SpongeBob. <laughs> they do look like the but <laughs> but like but, but, this the, was, but he had this before SpongeBob, right? I would assume before that. That's episode. true. You you would assume would that's assume. like that's like twenty years. <laughs> that's, that's why I said I would assume. <laughs> but well, one his don't squeak <laughs> <laughs> that we know of. Maybe it <laughs> and two like a, a SpongeBob wearing those is like that is like low aura. He makes them work. SpongeBob oh. doesn't have all black robes while he's wearing them. <laughs> you maybe think maybe he'd be a little bit different. Canon confirmed. Canon. <laughs> Luke Skywalker's boots squeak. <laughs> yeah, when he walks. No, that's legend. Time to go to number eight. We got Saul, but specifically here with the right. See, why is the belt around his stomach? I don't know. That's just the <laughs> that's the Jedi way. Is to have the that's the, like the rule number one. Yeah, is to have the belt around your stomach. But specifically, the look here with the white, with the yellow, and I'm not gonna lie, I really like this look a lot. I think it's super clean. I'd give it a. I'm gonna give it a solid. I was like, I, when I when I thought of it and I seen the image, I was teetering between S and A because I didn't know. Because mm -hmm. I love the white look, but I do think it is an A. Yeah, it's just I, the the only reason I feel like it can't really be S is because it's not that unique. You know, a lot That's of the true. the Jedi in this time period were wearing something like this. That's true. Why why did they change it to brown? That's like that's a good that's what I want to know. I mean, they you had this clean look right here, and they were like, I wonder whose decision was like, yeah, yeah, let's go to the brown robes. Well, I mean, Yoda is the is the grandmaster at this time and in the prequels. So you're saying? So I don't think he would be the one that made the decision. Hmm. So maybe when some of the some of the the newer the new gen the, yeah some of the new gen like mace windu when he got on the council uh yariel poof on the council dude that's something mace windu would do oh yeah switch it to brown just just eliminate drip yes oh my god he's he's i think i feel like he's the type of guy to eliminate the drip i don't know <sighs> he definitely did that's just another reason to hate mace windu he eliminated the, this drip right here yeah this is that, a, that's though. why that's why the jedi got overthrown <laughs> because they that's took the away their drip <laughs> that's the canon reason because they took away his drip okay <laughs> all right getting to the ninth jedi agent kolar another really essentially basic look again with the brown robes yeah i'm honestly is he a zabrak no he's not a nah, zabrak he's not a zabrak i don't know what he's got some horns though i don't know what he is pause uh the hair uh, with his look, I like the hair, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's just su it's such plain drip. It's just like it's like I don't man, it's got to be F, right? Originally, I was thinking D, but dude, not looking at it, like I don't I, know. he doesn't have anything at least to what we can see in this picture yeah, that differentiates him from any NPC Jedi. True. Yeah, because he just could have been a, he could have been a random background character. Yeah, honestly. If we're I mean, honest. he kind of was. I mean, he kind of is, but, but yeah. He's on the council though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he's on the council. So Maybe like, he took, had a part in eliminating the drip as well. Maybe. I don't. We don't. We don't know the guy, but yeah. we, we, we don't really hear him ever 
give an opinion, but maybe he made one decision and that was to eliminate Drip. Yeah. He's I like, mean, he's like, I like my robes. Let's have everybody wear this basic look. I mean, I, I have, I have Yoda's number, so I could probably get in contact with him to mm -hmm. maybe ask, but because I don't want to talk to Mace Windu. Nah, he he he'll he won't tell you, and he'll probably just be a jerk to you. Yeah. So, so I yeah, I don't know how his personality is, but I, I would hope that he didn't have a part in eliminating the drip. I hope not either, but. At this point, everybody is up in the air. Yeah. Nobody's off limits, so. And now we got number 10, Buryaga Agaburi. He had I, to be here. The the fact that, what you guys don't know <laughs> is before we started recording, I didn't know any of these. But I said to him, I said, Mark, I don't know if you did it, but I hope you put Buryaga Agaburi on the tier list. And, I read him like a book. And this dude left me speechless. I didn't know what to say. I was like, how did you know that the GOAT, Buryaga Agaberry, was on this list? And this is S. I mean, look at I it, think dude. this is maybe the easiest S. Dude, look at the lightsaber hilt, too. Yeah, he's got a sword. That is fire. He's like got a, a sword. It's almost like a. you could almost think of it like a claymore, too. He's yeah. Like a big sword. Like, dude. And then the, the little design on the robes. The All blue? The, like, the, like, he's got, like, the hair, like, braided or something. Yeah. Or, like, I mean, dude, that is... that's. And that's, he's a Wookiee. Like, he already low-key has drip. Then the the strap on his arm? That's it. That's, like, Kobe-type drip. You know what I mean? Facts, like, he had the forearm facts, band? Facts, facts, He's got the bicep band. This is S. Like... This is S. It's gotta be. This is S. Buryaga Agaburi. Remember the name? One of the drippiest Jedis of all time. I mean, that's, that's an easy S. There's no doubt about it. That's the tier list, though. I mean, tad bit top heavy, but we got somebody in every tier. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, what would you think? Uh, what do you think? Uh, the prequel Jedi are down in the bottom. Like, there's zero, there's zero drip. I mean, zero drip in that era. The 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 Sith were washing in that era. The Sith that was low key. The Sith like that was like Bob Pettit. Like that's plumber era. <laughs> plumber era. You know what I mean? Like. That's what it feels like. Like like back in the day, like Malik and and Revan, oh, like yeah. they're top tier drip, and but they're going against more top tier drip. Mm -hmm, that's true. This somehow as time went on, the drip got worse. the drip got worse. I don't know why. I don't know how. They this is the plumber era of Jedi drip, and the Sith were just washing. I don't know who. I don't even like. I don't understand why they decided to do that. Yeah, it's unbelievable why they decided to do it, but. I, I love the conspiracy that Mace Windu is the one that removed Drip. He, it's, he's, it's like he was the guy like I could tell in the movies he's the guy to just remove all the fun from everything too. Yeah. Like he's like all he's like serious all business no fun. like he wouldn't I wouldn't really enjoy him as boss. Like I'm surprised that they let Anakin wear what he was wearing. Honestly. But like I feel it, like that's a testament to to Anakin. They were he like, didn't give a fuck. Obi Wan was probably like vouching for him like guys he's the chosen one he can wear what he wants to wear. Yeah. Like, he, he's the chosen one. He can wear whatever the hell he wants to wear. Oh, man. But this is a great list. I love that 2S. I love the 2 and S, too. Yeah. Those are fire. Well, the only, there's only one thing left to say. Fuck Mace Windu! I've been on that no sleep and that go hard ain't nobody stopping my shine. Had a lot of late nights with my headphones and a lot of bullshit on my mind. Had my head down and my grind on. A lot of people telling me that I'ma be the one. But I never really looked up till just now. Finally hitting me how far we've come. Rap game underdogs. Rap game.